Well, hello there. Hello there. Are you here because, um, let me guess, you're looking for an AI sales assistant for your e-commerce store to increase engagement on your website? Mm, no, you actually look more like the kind of person who needs an AI customer service assistant because you're just so tired of answering the same customer questions for the hundredth time. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Regardless of the reason, I'm very glad you're here. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom AI assistant for your business. One that's trained on your own data. That means your website content, your FAQs, or, or your internal knowledge bases. You're only going to need two things. Your enthusiasm that already brought you here and a quick chat AI account. Don't worry, we can start building for free, no strings attached. We are big fans of teaching by example. So to set up your AI assistant today, we're going to use the example of an online Apple product reseller, MacShop, to illustrate each step. Please note that QuickChat's platform was specifically designed and built for businesses. So while it offers comprehensive customization and control options, it may not be the best fit for fun purposes due to its built-in guard lays and functionalities developed to cater to business needs. But if you're looking for something for professional use, you're in the right place. Let's move on to the tutorial. All right, we're now in the QuickChat's interface. After signing up, the first thing that we land on is the dashboard. The dashboard will help us track our assistant's performance and dig for insights. But for now, let's just focus on the other tabs. We're gonna get back to the dashboard after we deploy the assistant and gather some data. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to name our assistant. We navigate to the knowledge base tab and within the knowledge base, we have assistant AI assistant name. So the name should be related to the AI assistant's function, your business, rather than, for instance, your own name. Unless, of course, that's the vibe that you're going for. No judgment. Let's think. Naming is always the hardest part for me. Okay, let's just go simple. We want our assistant to be helpful and we want our assistants to sell Apple products. So how about um, helpful Macintosh? Sounds good to me. Helpful Macintosh. Whew, that's out of the way. Okay, now the description. So this is sort of like a very concise job description for the AI. In the case of MacShop, the AI assistant's role is to provide information on Apple products sold on MacShop and offer promotional discounts. So we write, the role of helpful Macintosh is to... Great, now for the AI guidelines. What could these mysterious guidelines be? Well, the AI guidelines basically let us specify particular behaviors that we want the AI assistant to follow. So for example, I kind of want the helpful Mac to use emojis, but in a refined manner. So we say use emojis in your responses, but in a refined manner. Ah, I almost forgot. AI guidelines also let you specify the behaviors that you don't want the AI to do, but we're gonna get back to that later. Great. So far we have named our assistant and we have defined what it's going to be responsible for. Now it's time to give our knowledge by plugging in our data sources so it can actually assist our customers with those Apple products. So the knowledge base is responsible just for that. It's where you can upload, edit, and validate text to supplement your eyes understanding of our company, products, or your projects. After all, what would a helpful Macintosh be without knowledge of the newest Apple products straight out of MacShop's website? Don't worry, we don't need to add all of this information manually. We can just use the URL import option to download all of our products from the website straight into the knowledge base. So we're going to upload URLs to MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and iPhone 15 as follows. Please note that we have the option to select exactly what we want to import. So in our case, we're only gonna download the pages mentioned for the three products. So I will go for the individual URL download, which is the first option. However, if you are a large e-commerce store, it's only natural that you have a lot of products. So you're gonna want to import all of your product descriptions. Okay, so this is the final product. I have downloaded the three different URLs to MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and iPhone 15. And let's just very quickly retrain and test if it works, right? Testing is the key to long lasting happiness, remember. So if I just say, would iPhone be suitable as a first phone for a child? Something quite specific. Is the AI gonna handle it? And there it is. So it actually has the information. Um, it already knows a little bit about the iPhone 15 and it has recommended that it would be a good option for a child's first phone. Great. 
So now, before we dive into the next tab, let's quickly recap. So we have an AI assistant, which is named Help Macintosh, and it knows all of the products on our website. This might be it, and we could just conclude the tutorial here, but well, Help Macintosh is pretty basic and we want its interactions with our clients to be more memorable so we're gonna want to specify its behaviors and personality so that it's a little bit special okay first we have a personality we would want helpful mac not to take life so seriously and be a little humorous so we have changed the AI personality to humorous and let's take helpful funny mac for a little spin hey i wanna buy a new phone but I'm not sure if an iPhone is a good fit for me. And we can see that it puts a little bit of these puns like iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 plus are truly apple of my eye and that they're appealing to many users. Haha. <laughs> All right, next up we have AI profession. So there is four different ones to choose from. We have the helpful assistant, which is the default one. But since we have an e-commerce store, let's just go for helpful assistant. So actually to compare these side by side, let's first try out the helpful assistant. Let's ask, would an iPhone be suitable as a first phone? And we get a response, which is informative so it says getting an iphone as your first phone would be a fruitful experience because it's also funny now and it just gives you a bunch of information now if we go for the shopping assistant it is meant to give a more recommendative vibe and a more salesy feeling to it so here it there's more emphasis on that it's a great choice and then it's it's basically just more like a personalized recommendation rather than just an information. All right, we also have many more settings here. So we, for instance, have AI creativity, which reflects how much the AI assistant should improvise when asked the question on the subject. But if there's no answer to it in the knowledge base, we have the reply length. So you can go for shorter responses, which is just going to be more to the point or for longer responses, which are more like for more extensive statements, um, for example, for recommendations. Then we also have links priority, which for instance, you can put a lot of emphasis on putting links if you have a lot of products on your website and you want to always redirect to the different products. Um, and then they will be prioritized over different information. Whew, helpful Mac is now definitely camera ready, but wait, actually Mac shop has an international customer base covering the US and Latin America. So Spanish is a must. Now we can set the language settings to add support for Spanish too. Let's do that now. Now, when we begin a conversation in Spanish, helpful Mac is going to reply in Spanish. Let's take it for a spin. As you can see, the reply is also in Spanish and the jokes are also in Spanish. That's great. And large language model translations can sometimes be incorrect, especially when translating words which are very specific to your business, such as brand names or taglines. So to keep ours safe, I'm just going to add mine to the custom translation section. So we navigate here and we, for instance, add Mac Shop and Apple to excluded words. Now, Helpful Mac already relieves Mac Shop of a ton of heavy lifting when it comes to customer service. But for users who still want to be connected to a human assistant, human handoff is a feature that automatically detects when a conversation should be handed off to a human agent. This, for instance, might include situations beyond your AI assistant's capabilities, such as a user requesting a refund or checking up the delivery studies on your new MacBook. Then the AI assistant can automatically detect this intent and connect you with your customer service members. Okay, so here in the settings, we navigate to human handoff and we're just going to go for a very basic setup. We're going to enable it. Um, and that's it. We have some invoice, some keywords here already that we have put for the other video. Great. So the last step before launching is just to test your AI assistant back and forth before giving it to your users to make sure that it replies in exactly the way you would like it to. Ah, I almost forgot about something. We actually have an early spring discount code. So I will quickly add it to the AI guidelines. Okay, offer discount code spring Mac 10 to users interested. 
in products. Amazing. All right. So we talked a lot with REI assistant here at MacShop. We asked it many different questions that our customers ask every day. And yeah, I have to admit I'm impressed. The answers were very relevant, accurate, and on brand. I'm very satisfied with the quality of the responses and it even used emojis as I requested and a little bit of humor. Now it's time to go live and put Helpful Mac in all of the places where our customers hang out. As you can see, we have many apps that we can integrate Helpful Mac with. So I'll use the embed option to put it there. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the code from there and I'm gonna paste it on my website's code. I'm not going to show this part because it's going to look a little bit different depending on if you use, for example, WordPress or Webflow, or if you just code your own website yourself. But if you click on preview, this is what the result is going to look like. Basically, we have this little chat bubble and you can talk to your new AI assistant here. Remember to customize the colors and the avatar of the widget so it matches your website's look and brand. And voila, this is what it should look like. Let's now ask it some questions, something that we've all been waiting for. Okay, so what if we ask it something about Samsung? Hey, I prefer Samsung to iPhone. Change my mind. It's cooking up a really good response. And it did all that we wanted. It is trying to convince us. It is using jokes and it has offered this special discount code in the very end. That's amazing. Which MacBook should I choose? The Pro or the Air? It's, you know, the eternal question. Ah, oh, and it actually said the eternal question. We're already vibing so well. <laughs> okay, so it says it really depends on your needs, which is very true. And then it just weighs the benefits of the one and the other. I think this is a great response, but let's dig a little bit deeper. So let's say that you literally just want the cheaper option. Now, since this is a sales AI assistant, it should be able to handle that in a gentle manner. So it's still a little bit jokey, which I really like, and it keeps that lightweight mood. And then it knows that the MacBook Air is a little bit cheaper than the MacBook Pro while still being a great personal computer. I really like this response. And as Mac, Helpful Mac just said, it's a win-win. Well, let me say, I just love how Helpful Mac uses humor to talk about things from my knowledge base and he can be really creative. I guess our lives just got easier. Now we have successfully deployed a customized AI assistant that can serve my clients and give some relief to my team and you can do the same for yourself. But that's just one way to use it really. You can also set it up in a way that lets you search for your internal databases or make it more salesy if your goal is to drive those higher conversion rates. And once the AI assistant has gathered data from the initial interactions with customers, your dashboard will be filled with information about those interactions. Let's take a quick look. You can try trends of usage and obtain very detailed information about your customers who have chatted with the AI assistant, including the languages and various breakdowns. Go ahead and start building your own AI assistant for free. Design, tweak, and test it until it perfectly aligns with your business objectives and requirements. And if you're looking for an AI assistant for your business, make sure to check out our checklist of six unobvious things you need to consider before you buy.